Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is the part 2 on solid state physics solution 2022. Today I am discuss question number 2 and 3. You can see this is the total question paper. Question number 1 already discussed in previous lecture. Today we want to discuss question number 2 and 3. In upcoming session we will be discuss question number 4, 5, 6 and 7 also. So let's start. Question number 2 says the primitive translational vector of hexagonal space lattice is given here. There are, these are the three primitive translational vector a1 vector, a2 vector, a3 vector. So that the lattice is its own reciprocal but with a rotation of axis. That means we need to find out the reciprocal of this lattice vector and we need to see that these are the uh, same reciprocal with a rotational. And then we need to find we need to find out the volume of the unit cell in reciprocal lattice. This is the formula of reciprocal lattice vector that is a1 star in reciprocal space is 2 pi a2 cross a3 and a1 dot a2 cross a3. a2 cross a3 gives you uh, this one and if you dot with a1 this must be a1 this must be a1 this is the a1 okay. So this is uh, give, uh, uh, the volume in this primitive translational vector is like that. So put this value and a2 cross a3 will be often this one. You can see this is the same type as uh, this is the same uh, with a rotation. You can see the coefficient of i cap and j cap are interchanged. Okay. Mm, and, and put this. And similar for A2 and A3, you just find out this expression and you can see these are the just rotation. So hence proof. And you need to find out the you know, volume of unit cell. So volume of unit cell is the box product and if you product these three things uh, like that, you will be obtained this expression. I think clear. Next question says that for uh, write down the Bra Bra Bragg's law that is to be sign the regular del lambda. How this was modified due to reflection of the crystal surface. Actually, these are discussed in the uh, theory class of uh, solid state physics. You can see there, I just write down here. So, this is the modified law of refraction because these are refracted from here also. So, the law changes and this will be like that. Okay. So, this is the modified Bragg's law due to refraction actually we neglect the refraction we take this as the uh, transmission in this plane but actually these are refracted so the change will be like that next thing is what are the different symmetry property of a lattice there are uh, many more symmetry property like, like the translational symmetry rotational symmetry reflectional symmetry and inversion symmetry Next question says from the wise theory, field theory, find out the expression of magnetic susceptibility for ferromagnetic material. And so, how does this vary above and below the cooling temperature? In ferromagnetic material, the uh, uh, field uh, originate uh, is like that, it's a proportional to magnetization, so it is known as the wise field theory. And if you consider a ferromagnetic solid containing an atom, then uh, the magnetization will be like that. Then the magnetization will be where the magnetization formula will be like that. In case of spontaneous magnetization, V equals to zero, it's equal to like that. The magnetic moments align themselves parallel to the field and the M becomes the saturation. So, this is the saturation magnetic field, hence the for spontaneous magnetization is 0. So, finally, obtain this thing, and this is the variation of the susceptibility with temperature. In case uh, below and above free temperature, how this is very very So, you can see this below. Fluid temperature spontaneous magnetization above uh, fluid temperature the spontaneous magnetization absent. Actually, uh, the ferromagnetic change into paramagnetic uh, above the fluid temperature, right? So, this 
so this is the answer next is the refer to index and the dialectic constant of what are is given that like 1.32 and 81 determine the percentage of ionic polarizability ionic polarizability uh, is alpha I and electronic polarization alpha e is related to dialectic constant like that and the ion electronic polarization related to uh, refer to index like that so you just put this value here it will be obtained this expression and this is the expression of alpha i that the ionic polarization when you divide it by these things it will be obtained this thing you obtain this expression so finally you will be obtained the ionic polarization percentage so that's it in the next course, uh, video we will be discussed after we discuss the next. This is all about me. This is my contact detail and this is my YouTube channel detail. Uh, thank you. We will meet in the next video. Thank you.